Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud and excited to show you the world's first fully cordless, all on one platform, safe set system. But before I go there, I want to get us all on the same page on the application, which is Rebar Dowling. Right, Rebar Dowling is about installing reinforcement steel bars into concrete to create a structural connection between an existing and a new slab. As you can see in the picture behind me, that's a typical application on a job site where we install multiple pieces of reinforcement bar and then after this is done, we are going to cast new concrete around them so they are structurally connected. So as this is a structural connection, it has to be done in a safe way to carry load. So um, we have to carry out many steps quite carefully. First of all, of course, we need to drill the hole. And we already did that for the sake of time. But the next step is uh, getting the dust that is sitting in the hole out so that the chemical bonding element can go in nicely. So to do that, what we typically would do traditionally is to blow the dust out of the hole. I'm not going to do that here today so we don't have to breathe a lot of dust. Uh, but then the next step is to nicely brush the inner surface of the hole so it's ready for bonding. And of course, I generated more dust into the hole, so I need to blow it again. Then the next step is injecting the mortar and Mario is going to walk us through that. Uh, so then you're ready to set the rebar in place. So Mario, with you. So as the last installation step, which is the injection, um, before we do that, we need to get the system prepared. And to do so, we have to attach the mixer, screwing it on, on the toy pack on the cartridge, and putting it into the dispenser, which is in that case now a typical manual dispensing system. Before we now can actually apply the motor into the hole, we need to ensure that this is a pretty critical part to do the initial discard. Meaning, putting a new cartridge oil pack in, we have to get ensured that the two components of this chemical product are getting properly mixed throughout the mixer and discarding that portion. So I will do that now. That is already cured. I have to change the mixer from the previous station. So this actually after a couple of minutes not using it, it's getting geared, then we simply take a new mixer on it. Now we are ready, so now by pumping I bring the resin to the mixer tip. And now I'm doing three times the trigger. This is the portion which has to be discarded. Now we are ready to bring the mortar, the resin, into the boho. But typically a trade man, trade woman, has the challenge to decide how much mortar is now required to put it in. And to be on the safe side, they are putting on some safety. So filling up the hole with the resin, pumping it in. Then they set the elements. So, I mean, this is for sure a safe installation. The borehole is properly filled. But as you can see, now you have the advantage of already seeing different applications or installations. You never get a consistent installation quality. And of course, the mortar overflow, what you can see here, is waste. So, Fernando, coming back to you. All right. So, in, I was talking about uh, the next innovation leap. So what Hilti did in 2012, we launched the so-called Hilti Safe Set, right? So with the brand new um, hollow drill bit, which is basically, as the name says, a hollow drill bit connected to a vacuum cleaner, we can combine drilling and cleaning the hole into one step. So what that means, we eliminate completely the cumbersome hole preparation process. And that means concrete contractors can save up to 60% of application time by doing that, first thing. Second thing, we virtually eliminate any dust uh, generated with this by sucking it directly from the hole. And finally, and very important, 
it's not only Hilti telling you this is a safe system. This system is tested and qualified by a third party council, so the International Code Council, according to construction safety standards, that this is a safe structural installation. So after that, we'd ask ourselves, how can we take this even to the next level? So we move here. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud and excited to show you the world's first fully cordless, all on one platform, safe set system. Now you can drill faster, run longer, with top performance, low weight, cordless rotary hammer, STS Max, the T6022. You can, of course, clean the hole as you drill with the hollow drill bit connected to our new completely cordless back cleaner. And apply the exact amount of mortar every single time with virtually no effort with the new smart cordless dispenser. T6022 STS Max rotary hammer um, is very powerful with performance and power you'd expect from much heavier tools. It also uh, provides a very high work per charge with the new high power Duron batteries. Of course, a lot of other features. One I would like to show you is the active torque control, which was, by the way, invented by Hilti in 1999. In case of the tool, the drill bit getting stuck and the tool rotating out of control, the tool stops itself, cuts the motor, preventing potential wrist injuries. Next, with the vacuum cleaner, so the Duron technology allows us to have the high suction power required to run this application and be third-party approved. It's equipped with the HEPA filter, of course, and it's OSHA Table 1 compliant. And the smart dispenser. Why do I call it a smart dispenser? First of all, we have a feedback LED that shows you when the right amount of mortar is applied. Second, we have a smart so the dispenser. Feedback, does that relate to the position of the, of the, the distance? It's related to the volume of the chemical element that's gone into the hole. But that's got to be matched to the circumference of the hole, right? To the, to yeah. the diameter of the hole, to the depth of right. the hole, to the type of mortar. And I'm going to show you something interesting right away. Okay. Okay. We have the smart dispensing function, which does the full pre-mixing and dispensing automatically. And then finally, with the volume calculator app, we can input all those parameters into an application and it will tell you what's the volume required. You can preset with the dosing wheel and now the tool knows the amount of mortar needs to go in the hole. So with the click of a button, you have the right amount of mortar in the hole every time. We also have to bring first in the continuous mode the resin to the mixer tip. Holding on here, and now you just switch the wheel to the smart discard function. I'm going to hold the trigger, I do not release it, it stops automatically. This is the precise amount of discard which is needed based on that product. Now I'm ready to go into the borehole, and for that we can do the volume calculation with the app and this tells me here to put the wheel on the fork based on that geometries with this drilling diameter and embedment app. I just go in again, I hold the trigger. It stops, I'm still on, so I'm not putting in more than required. And now let's have a look how the installation looks like. So, it's fully covered, and this is saving up to 20% of mortar waste 
compared to traditional methods doing it manually. You might wonder if uh, someone is not using a mobile form, an app calculation, to put the, the required volume on the wheel. We also have a feature implemented which is called the repeat function. And for that we go just in a, an application like over there into the borehole. We fill it up in the continuous mode like doing manual injection. As long as the installer, the trade man, thinks it's enough, putting in the rebar or the anchor, agreeing on that's fine. And now they can go on this repeat function and the dispenser knows precisely how much milliliters or fluid ounces have now put in the previous hole and you can copy paste that to any serial application. So we have covered both worlds, right? For those ones doing the calculation on an app, but for the others not having that, they still are able to do continuous or accurate dosing along a serial application.